Welcome to another property management fairy tale. You know, I thought this month would be a little bit more fun if we did something a little bit different. So I want to tell you a real life fairy tale about the property management industry. Now, this is going to be exciting. We're going to talk about enchanted lands, gold coins, ogres, fairy tales. It's a beautiful story. Are you ready? Here we go. A long time ago, in a land far, far away, there lived an innocent property manager. The property manager started his company to help people to do good, and he did good. He was a good, good person. And one day the property manager received a call from a prospective owner client. The owner client could sometimes be mean, he could sometimes be very nice, but the owner client owned a rental property, and it was a beautiful fairy house located deep in the woods where very magical creatures lived. And he hired the property manager to manage his deep wood cabin and to find someone who would rent the beautiful deep wood magical house. And so sure enough, the property manager did. The property manager advertised it to all the creatures of the land. And soon a beautiful fairy approached the property manager and said, may I live in this beautiful enchanted house deep in the woods? The property manager said, absolutely. And so the fairy moved into the beautiful deep wood rental property that she loved. Now, by the way, after the rental, after the fairy had been in the rental property for just a month or two, she did call the property manager and say, oh, by the way, I, I do have a unicorn that it needs to come live with me. And the property manager said, well, no, no, I'm sorry. This is not a pet friendly dwelling. And the fairy said, I, actually, it's not a, just a unicorn. It's a service unicorn and so I have to bring my service unicorn in and so sure enough the fairy did bring her service unicorn in but that's not the point of our story today. So there the beautiful fairy lived with her beautiful enchanted unicorn and everybody was happy. Everything was going wonderfully and one day the owner, the ogre owner called the innocent property manager and said to the innocent property manager, property manager, when the fairy moves out of my property I'm going to sell my magical house in the woods to another ogre owner. So property manager, this is very important. I need you to not renew the lease agreement with the fairy tenant who lives in the property so I can sell it. And the property manager said, no problem. I will make sure we do not renew the lease with the magical unicorn and the beautiful fairy. Well, pretty soon the fairy's lease agreement came up for renewal and the property manager forgot to not renew the lease. And the property manager reached out to the fairy and sure enough, the fairy signed a lease renewal on the house, the magical house deep in the woods. And the property manager called the ogre owner and said, hey, we signed a new lease. The ogre owner was very upset. He was very angry and steam came out of his ears and he showed his teeth and he said, you property manager are making a grave mistake. You must get my property back. I wish to sell it. Get the fairy out of my house or else. And the innocent property manager knew he had made a terrible grave mistake, but he didn't know what to do. So he called the beautiful fairy and said, please, beautiful fairy, will you please move out of the house deep in the woods so that the ogre owner can come back and reclaim his property? And the beautiful fairy said, no, I'm sorry. My unicorn and I love living here. We could never imagine ourselves moving anywhere else and we've signed a lease. We will stay. And so the property manager now didn't know what to do. So he called the ogre owner and said, please, Mr. Ogre owner, this fairy has signed a lease and she's a good tenant and the unicorn is good. Well, you, can they just stay a little bit longer? And the ogre owner said, absolutely not. And with steam coming out of his ears, he said to the property manager, if you do not get my property back to me, I will contact my attorney. And as a matter of fact, I have contacted my attorney already. And my attorney has told me that if you can't get her out of my property or come to some type of a financial arrangement, then I will sue you. And my attorney who looks like this will make you buy my house from me. <laughs> oh, the poor property manager didn't know what to do. So the property manager called his own attorney and he called the landlord. And he called the tenant and at the end of the day, the poor property manager had to go deep into his bank and he had to withdraw 8,000 gold coins to give to the ogre owner to make the ogre owner not sue the property manager. And so the property manager lost out on his golden coin collection, 8,000 coins worth. Now, as every fairy tale has, there are some morals 
of this fairy tale. Let me share with you what I believe are just a few important lessons and morals of the fairy tale we can learn from today. Number one, when we have an owner client who tells us do not renew a lease agreement, we need to make sure we have a process for not renewing the lease agreement. And we have to follow the process. It's not good enough to put it on your calendar or put it in the software. You have to make sure that that triggers a non-renewal of the process. Now you say, well, that seems rather straightforward. We'll make sure we do that. And this property manager did have a process. They just forgot to follow it, which we've all done from time to time. The second moral of our fairy tale story is that we want to make sure we insert language in our property management agreement as it relates to the lease renewal process and the owner's notification and owner's involvement, which takes us to lesson three, that language must include a specific time or a date notification requirement from the owner. Because what we don't want to have happen is we do a lease renewal to tell the owner and then the owner says, oh, I didn't want you to do that. Maybe the owner didn't tell us beforehand, but now they're angry because they say they didn't want us to. So to protect our innocent property manager, our innocent property manager should have put language in his property management agreement that maybe said something like, if you do not want us to renew the lease on your property, Mr. Ogre owner, you must inform us at least 90 days prior to the lease expiration. Otherwise, we will renew the lease agreement on your magical house with a fairy and her unicorn. Now, before we go on to lesson number four, let's thank the magical sponsor of this video, Find Digs. Have you used these folks? Listen, you need to reach out to the folks. Find out how they can help you on your applicant side of things. We're talking about tenancy here, aren't we? Find Digs helps people take care of the tenancy side. On the processing side, it does all the hard work for you so you can ensure that that fairy who moves into your property is really a fairy. And she really does have fairy magic or fairy gold, not fairy magic. She really has fairy gold to pay her rent and that's not false gold. Reach out to my friends at Fine Digs. Tell them Mark sent you. Where were we? Oh, that's right. Lesson number four. You could ask the property owner every time before you renew a lease agreement. Some property managers say, before I ever negotiate a lease renewal with my tenant, I reach out to my property manager and I ask them what they want me to do. You could do that, but that takes a lot of extra effort. So maybe that takes us to the final lesson number five, which may be easier. And that is, if you already have the language in your property management agreement, maybe the first of every year in January, you send a mass email out to all of your ogre owner clients, reminding them that if you do not hear from them 90 days prior to the tenant's lease coming up, you will renew the lease on the magical house deep in the forest. That concludes our fairy tale of the day, my friends. For more fairy tales, jump on the website, pmbuild.com. You can learn everything you need to know about property management. Until next month, I wish you all a wonderful month.